The year is 1874. A little society, friends of nature, are planting trees on the bare moors near Gothenburg. And perhaps this is where an idea took root as well. One of the children planting trees is Edwin, Edwin Olsen, who went on to become the founder of the Swedish Forest Society Foundation. Sweden's industries are booming. Exports are rising dramatically. The sawmills can hardly meet demand. Timber supplies are not a problem in the vast, pristine forest areas of northern Sweden. But further south, it is quite a different story. Barren heaths, overgrazing, and burn beating is still widespread. Hans Frey started working at the Forest Society in 1965. This is a landscape almost devoid of forests. Impoverished rural dwellers abandon the countryside and head for the city's factories or emigrate in search of a better life beyond Sweden's shores. Edwin Olsen is by now running a wood products business. He travels widely and sees the devastation, as well as the possibilities. He gradually builds a vision of a revitalized landscape, a vision that leads to the establishment of the Forest Society in 1912. Its aim is to recreate a habitat for the forests to grow again in these lands they set about implementing this gargantuan restoration task. Decades of dedicated work on a massive scale that is to transform half a million hectares of windswept moors into forest. This nurturing tradition, helping both plants and people to prosper, is still very much alive at the Forest Society. Today, it offers help to the forest owners with its heart firmly rooted in the forest. Det har växt bra sista åren i alla fall. Ja, men för mig är det viktigt att skapa en bra relation med med skogsägen och börja där liksom för att bygga en bra skogsförvaltning och försöka se på möjligheterna som fastigheten har. Är det en ekonomiskt maximerad avkastning eller är det ett naturvårds perspektiv eller rekreation eller är jakt eller vad är det för någonting som är viktigt för markägaren? Jag tycker det absolut viktigaste för min del är att man har en skogspartner eller rådgivare som kan se till hela fastigheten och se till fastighetens unika förutsättningar. Sen är det ju jätteviktigt att jobba med en partner som har en hög närvaro på fastigheten och inte bara se till produktionsspecifika frågor utan även kan vara med och affärsutveckla och titta framåt i tiden både på kort och på lång sikt. Om jag kan vara med och bidra så att skogsägaren når sina mål som man har satt upp då tycker jag då har vi verkligen lyckats. När man känner att man där satt den liksom då, ja, då känns det bra. <laughs> Increasingly, forest owners are shifting their bases to the cities. Maria now lives some 500 kilometers from her beloved forest. This makes it all the more important to have a forest manager who you can trust and who can assist with both forest issues as well as those related to running a business. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
John is aware of the value people attach to forestry ownership. It can't be understated. Owning a forest helps one grow roots and provides security. The Forest Society is there to look after the interests of the owner. It'll be there to protect the owner's rights when, for example, large companies turn up on their doorstep wanting to erect masts or power lines. The Swedish Forest Society Foundation took the first aerial photographs in 1930. This was revolutionary within forestry, marking the start of the society's efforts to improve the value of Sweden's forests. The foundation today puts a million euros into R&D every year towards realizing its vision for the 21st century, to use and develop the forest's natural resources in a sustainable manner and preserve its delicate ecosystem. The climate threat can be lessened by well-tended forests, which, with the help of the sun's life-giving rays, bind carbon in the tree trunks and ground. Our forests, given life by the sun, fanned by the wind and nurtured by coming generations, will help mankind meet the enormous challenges involved in its efforts to ensure that our limited resources will continue to meet the needs of a growing population. The Swedish Forest Society Foundation is well equipped to meet these challenges and is looking forward to tackling them in the years to come. Here was a young here in the 1920s, and the forest was planted in the forest. Today, the forest is like this.